be. You know, if the GOP can't win back the Senate in a climate like this, maybe the party ought to look for another country. Or a PR outfit like Bernie suggests. Look, the reason why Morning in America worked for Ronald Reagan in 1984 is because it really was Morning in America. All right, folks, there you go, uh, Charles Krauthammer. And uh, joining us now is my friend Larry Kudlow, CNBC senior contributor and syndicated radio host of The Larry Kudlow Show. And um, I will precede you this Saturday on uh, WMAL Radio, uh, Larry, as you hit the air there in Washington, D.C. at 7 p.m. Good to talk to you, sir. Yes, thank you, as always. But, by the way, what Charles – actually, I'm going to see Charles tonight. He's speaking at the National Review uh, – anniversary dinner but he's right he's absolutely right i mean one of the reasons the republicans are going to win big is the democrats don't have a message and they don't have a track record performance is lousy well larry you've been a little you've been a, i'm sorry you've been a little tough on republicans for not getting a, yeah. a unified positive message out there but that aside you wrote a great piece uh, about the optimistic uh, GOP story that everyone is uh, is missing i saw in the washington examiner and you talk about what will happen if, as you predict, the Senate it goes Republican and seats are gained in the House, uh, what that will mean for the country, politically speaking? Yeah, I mean, in talking to senators, uh, leading senators and, and House members, you know, what I hear is that they are, they are going to really put a whole bunch of bills on Obama's desk, and it's going to happen fast, all right? Obama's head is going to spin, and he may have to even give up his golf game for a while. See, Obama <laughs> has been hiding behind Harry Reid's skirts. Reid won't let any votes in the U.S. Senate. He just won't. And this idea that the Republicans are blocking legislative work is nonsense. Republicans are passing bills in the House. They're trying to, they're pushing them over into the Senate. But Mitch McConnell can't get a vote if the majority leader, Reid, won't vote. Now, all that's going to change. And McConnell will move these votes and they will pass, and they're going to be put on Obama's desk. And from what I hear, the first one's probably going to be Keystone, the pipeline, and added to that, Steve, as a, as a big energy package. It'll be a Keystone pipeline authorization bill, which puts the power back with Congress. And secondly, open up the federal lands to further drilling and fracking. And third, eliminate export restrictions. And all of that would enhance the boom of energy which has been the backbone of the economy so i think that's going to be number one and then i hear number two is going to be corporate tax cut a big corporate tax cut stop the double taxing of overseas profits drop the rate 20 percent let small businessmen and small businesswomen pay the new lower corporate tax in other words the c corp the s corp pass-throughs uh will be able to pay the lower corporate rate and that's the kind of real incentive stimulus to get this two percent economy up to four percent and um you know obama keeps fencing around on the corporate tax what he really wants to do is take deductions away from companies so we can raise a trillion dollars in revenues to increase spending he's not going to get that right but he is going to get a sensible and, and, bill and larry polit politically speaking so if obama vetoes these bills um, then, uh, you know, it's on the record. And then, it, it, by extension, it then affects Hillary or whoever is the uh, 2016 Democratic nominee because then they either separate themselves from Obama, say, I would have signed it, or say he did the right thing in vetoing him. Right. Uh, very important because, uh, you know, I wish the Republicans had a clear uh, election year agenda. All right. I lost that. I lobbied. I talked to so many senators. Um, but... What you're going to get is the agenda, and Obama will enhance that agenda, okay? If he signs the bills, then he might co-opt some important issues, but I don't think he will. And I think, therefore, that sets up the debate. And you heard Hillary Clinton the other day say that businesses oh, and corporations yeah. don't create jobs. Oh, now, yeah. That was, oh, can yeah. I just tell you, that is so important. She tried to walk it back, but she can't. Um, she's said these things before. She she's going to go for the minimum wage as a job creator. That's a job killer. You see, you're, you're, what you're setting up here is a very pro-growth Republican agenda, which, by the way, will include you know a rewrite of Obamacare, as long, uh, along with energy and corporate taxes. You're going to have very pro-growth GOP agenda, 
and you're going to have a very left-wing Democratic agenda. Um, yep, it's going to be a very clear-cut, a very clear-cut right. choice. Larry, great to talk to you as always, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks for calling. Larry Kudlow, ladies and gentlemen. Next, how the markets do. Don't go away.